welcome to the list this show where we pluck out a name out of the famous list from the geeks for justice podcast and review it for y'all for y'all viewing pleasure i am your host enterprises with me at some time you can be oh. felix today we watch the usual suspect those bread yes we did this is from 1995 directed by brian singer starring kevin spacey gabriel uh gabriel burn byron burn benicio mm-hmm. Toro, kevin pollack i can't pronounce that guy's name but those are the main people man mm-hmm. giancarlo esposito sus like i didn't know he was in there the first time way he shook me. me me neither and it was well you hadn't seen it how would you know no no no. but i uh i saw it the, I, this is my second viewing that's why i like the, i didn't recognize him until the second time i saw it and it felt like a bag of bricks into my face when i was like i know that dude and when he started talking and took his hat off and i was holy shit yeah it i feel bad when actors who have been in the game for a long time uh-huh. only get their shine like 20 years after and he's one of them you know because everybody th- associates him with uh, gus fringe uh-huh but he's in unusual sp- suspects he's in the malcolm x movie he's been acting for a long time that all of a sudden you're like oh this is a way when before he was a background face right mm-hmm. and now he's like an iconic bad guy he's he's one that it's kind of like ah damn you've been hustling for a long ass time and we're only yes. giving you your flowers now and he wasn't even the main detective on the movie. No, no, he's not. He's just like a, a side piece, but... Uh, a side piece. The Usual Suspects <laughs> is about a soul survivor who tells uh, the tale of the twisty events leading up to a horrific gun battle on a boat, which began when five criminals met at a seemingly random police lineup. This is one that has gone down in history as... A movie with one of the biggest twists ever. I have to say, um, I felt I, when I saw the ending, mm-hmm. I, without spoiling, I, it dawned on me and I said, fucking scary movie. Wait. But had, did you know the twist going in? That's the thing. I know mm-hmm. somebody was not supposed to. Somebody was not who he said he was. But you didn't know who? No. Okay, so you didn't know the twist. No, did somebody said what, what? I'm, I'm trying I'm trying to remember what my friend said he was like, "Just pay attention to the survivor." And I was like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Well, he's, he's not who he says he is. Well, he spoiled the movie. Uh, yeah, but I didn't I, that was a spoiler with no context and I was like, "What what do you mean the survivor? What the I fuck?" Guess. He just, just, I mean, this is one that you have to be really careful. And uh, we'll get into spoiler spoil in a second in case you haven't mm-hmm. seen it, because I think I knew the twist going in. And that kind of ruins the whole movie, kind of like the, where movies, their whole twist is the whole movie, kind of. Mm-hmm. Because leading up to it, there's nothing else there, really, except the twist, right? Yeah, because I, I was really suspicious of, of of the character. I was like, okay, he he's fucking weird. Mm-hmm. I don't know. And when I I remember, oh, okay, so so okay, so shit happens. He's yeah. telling the story, and I'm like, okay, but how how does this? It's just really really super mega obvious when you know what the twist is. Because again, this is my this was my second viewing of it. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what I thought the first time I watched it because it's been a few years now. Mm-hmm. But now knowing who it is, you, there's just a lot of it that they're throwing it in your face yeah you know um but uh it's just it went down as one of the best movies of all of all time with the best twists and one of the best uh how can you say bloopers yeah you knew that was a blooper Oh yes, and yeah. it's the first one of the first scenes. It's in the one movie. of the first scenes when they be introduced into a lineup. They're all giggling and the, and then uh, they're all laughing at. Uh, it's not Alec. It's one of the Baldwin's. No, they're not laughing at him. I think they were laughing at Benicio del Toro because he was farting his ass off. Well, that's 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 different accounts to what I Stephen Baldwin. He was a ball. Oh, net that way. I'm looking at his face right now. What do you mean? He looks just like Holy him. Holy shit. 
So the the version of the blooper I know is that they're laughing at his version of the of the line of the line. Uh huh. Because he's all ah, 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 and he's they're all laughing crazy. because of that. They might have been that plus him farting. I don't know. No, Benicio Toro was the one who was farting his ass off. I mean, it looked like it was just a shit show of a scene. And I think I read somewhere that Brian Singer was all like pissed because they couldn't get that part off professionally and they were keep uh-huh. giggling and fucking up. <laughs> Um, I mean, I mean, looking at Baldwin's face, it's hard not to laugh at that asshole. Because they're already laughing, right? Like <laughs> it, it looks like a blooper yeah. way because they're all giggling. You know, even Kevin Spacey, who's supposed to be like the super super serious one, they're all giggling. That's the and only it's really, point. Where- it's it's really funny because they look like they're like longtime friends. It, it does fuck up the dynamic that they just met in in that place. Because they look like friends just, just get fucking around. Yeah, and that's supposed to be their very first encounter. And then after that, they start doing a lot of plotting. Uh, hopefully, you guys watch this movie so we can go into more spoily spoils. But Because, goddamn, it's a very good movie. Right? It takes place in San Pedro, Doc. Shout outs to my family in Pedro. Woo, see you. I did not know San Pedro existed. My man's way, what do you mean? Yeah, the only things I know from California are the bear and the flag. Uh, San Isidro mm. and San Diego, and that's about it. Damn, bro. That's yeah. Sad. No, San Pedro. That's not sad. I don't give a shit. There's a, do you know how much California there is, and that's like the only one you know? It's a lot. I mean, I've, I've never given uh, a thought of, about the rest of California. Well, there's like all the, all the tankers, you know, the tank ports and all that. There's in San mm-hmm. Pedro. No shit. Yeah. Well, there's tankers in the in this movie at first. Yeah. 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 Holy shit. But the more you know. Yeah, the more you know. There's a lot of jump backs and forth, uh jump jump backs, jump cuts back and forth. Time uh, jumps back and forth. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> uh but the whole movie's narrated by uh Kevin Spacey's character. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna go into spoilers pose now. Who's a cripple? Yes. And he's all telling the story from his point of view, making you think well that he's just telling you the story. So you automatically take him out of the the loop and it's really weird because he's kind of the they they say he's the man with a plan and i was like okay that's interesting so i thought he was like the like the head of the group Mm -hmm. so i thought okay well well what do you mean put pay attention to this guy i know i know he's the head of the group i know he's the one with the plans i know he's the the brains the brains of the operation i mean it's it's pretty cut and dry what do you mean and i was thinking what do you mean about pay attention to him yeah your homie messed you up with that yeah and i was like what the fuck and everything was happening every and i was like okay i still know he's the guy the brains behind the operations why am i supposed to oh fuck yeah well, because the other guy is supposed to like, he, he's supposed to take control as if he's the 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 Keaton, uh-huh. uh, Gabriel Byrne is he's like, they make him feel like he's the boss, like he knows what's going on, right? Mm-hmm. And and he takes a shine to Kevin Spacey's character, like he's under his ring wing and he's all like, help me and defenseless. And when even in the last scene there, he was like, stay here, I'll go, like protecting him and everything. Because he, he's a tiny little cripple who can't do shit, right? Yep. But again, if you know the twists going in the movie, when they're on and they're playing pool or whatever, and the Kaiser Sose associate comes out, mm-hmm. every time he that guy said Kaiser Sose, Mr. Sose wants this, they cut to Spacey. So Holy the, shit. So the movie tells you that it's him if you already, but it's easy to know if you, if, if you know, you know what I'm saying. Uh-huh. See one, see one. That's, that's so I saw it like that. So the 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 shock and awe of the final reveal, like the saw reveal, where they just dump everything on you, and the cop realizes that he's been bullshitting the whole time. That doesn't hit as hard, obviously, the second time. Well, no, because the whole movie is a twist. You know, so you mm-hmm. take out the twist, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's all right. That's my problem with Sixth Sense. I haven't seen the movie. But you know the twist. But I know the twist. So I wonder if that's going to fuck me up. It, it is. It is. Because when I saw the movie, I was at, what, elementary school? Yeah. And it, I, I was like, oh, because because one of my the friends over the, when, of that time, yeah. he told me, the movie's not what it seems. And I I was eight years old or something. I was, I was a kid. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? And then I remembered his quote 
when the reveal happens and I was like, that's what he meant. Shit. Okay. But it didn't fuck up the movie for me. Mm. Because it, that that was more a broad of a comment. Well, you start to find other things in the movie because I've heard from the Sixth Sense too that uh, he's wearing the same thing throughout the whole movie. Yeah. So that's like a giveaway that he's a ghost. But it, the first time, you, the, I mean, the first time I watched it, I do remember not giving a single damn about what he was wearing. Right. It was later watches that I said, oh, shit, that, that is strange. Yeah, Why? because you're, you're taking the, 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 the medicine that the movie's giving you, which is what this does, right? Because uh -huh. in here, you're taking the movie as the movie's being told to you by Kevin Spacey's point of view and his character as he's the victim mm -hmm. he saw who killed the last guy so you are and then they keep sh sh taking making the cut to that like it was a bunch of rope in the in, on the boat and is on fire and they keep zooming in on that making you think that he was possibly hiding behind there so he saw everything that's happening mm -hmm. but there's nothing behind there it's all a lie no. So, because we're taking this story through Kevin Spacey's character's mouth. We're taking his word for whatever he's saying. Mm -hmm. So, it, it's, it's a brilliant way to hide a twist. But if you know what the twist is, it kind, it's, 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 it's kind of ruined. Yeah, it, it, it does ruin the movie completely. Because you, you going in, you know how he's going to act. You know everything is a lie. And it, it does ruin everything yeah but there is little nuances that which is what i was picking up on now because i know what the twist is and now i'm hyper studying every movement that kevin spacey's doing you start to notice certain things like when they're in the lineup everybody comes up and says their lines straight to the camera mm -hmm. he comes up and the shot is from the side and everybody else behind him is blurry so that could be meaning that he was actually not even in the lineup to begin with Mm -hmm. or that he lied about that because again the to the story is being told to us from his point of view the first thing we see is someone killing uh what did i say his name was something burn yeah gabriel burn aka gabriel keaton's Byrne. character right so they show that to us but the rest of the movie its purpose is to disprove what was just shown to us in the very beginning so do we and believe what we saw or do we believe what the cop is ultimately determining that Keaton is actually Kaiser Sose. And the like the the big reveal at the end. Yeah. I caught up on it because in the in the uh, just readjusting in the in that opening scene, mm -hmm. you see the gold watch and I was like, yeah. "Okay, why yeah, are you and, and and by the end they're giving shit back and they were like, "Okay, one gold one watch gold." And I was like, "Oh, oh, oh." Fuck. It's the watch and the lighter, which he uses at yeah, the very end. Exactly. And I was like, when he said watch, I was like, no fucking way. Then he said lighter. And I was like, okay, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, so he the was... big reveal is that amongst all this other stuff that they, these are that these uh criminals are doing, they get they get hired by a super mega criminal Kaiser Soze. Oh, like a like a like, like a ghost, like a fairy worst, tale. Like the worst person you could ever meet, that's a ghost. Right, because allegedly one of the stories is that he he came home and his family was abducted and then he shot his family in the face in front of the killers. Like I don't give a fuck. Yeah, just to which show could also be all. bullshit. Which could also be bullshit too. It could be Kevin Spacey's like, yes. character making shit up to make the legend of Kaiser Zose bigger than what it actually is. Exactly. Because at the end he's walking out, he's he's a he's he's got cerebral palsy and he's got a terrible limp and then by the end he like shakes it off and then jumps in the mm -hmm. car with the guy with the associate and drives off. And that's what I and that's what I meant about the scary movie review. At the end of the first one, mm -hmm. the Dewey, the stupid asshole, mm -hmm. does exactly the same thing. He yeah. lights up the lighter, then he goes with the girl he's supposed to he's supposed allegedly killed the first girl. I can't remember. But it was, and I was like, oh, fucking shit. That, yeah. that was cool. Yeah. That was a cool little nod. Yeah. Um, but what I don't understand is why is so many people confused and why are people still asking whether or not Kevin Spacey is actually Kaiser Sose? Well, it's because clear. they're fucking dumb. It's, it's cut, that's, it's cut again, and dry. That's another thing that's cut and dry. Yeah. Because the survivor from the boat 
recognizes him and gives a description and they 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 draw him out and it's Kevin Spacey on the page. Mm-hmm. And I he's mean, not limping with, and he's got the watch and the light. It's him. Why are you thinking? Him, it, the, the drawing, I mean, it was not like a spawn on drawing. But I but mean. But it, I mean, but it was like, he was the guy. It had to it was, be him. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know what the confusion is, whether it's him or whether it's it's the driver too, because that's another the of the theories that it's the 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 alleged associate that that's him. He's Kaiser Sose. I don't know. I think it, it's Kevin Spacey. They made it super blatantly obvious that it's him. Mm-hmm. With the watch and the lighter, I think that's the thing that cements him being Kaiser Sose. Right. I don't know. It could just be people that love the movie so much and keep digging at it, but um. I think this was Kevin Spacey's first Academy Award win. Shit. Yeah. I, I mean, well earned. I mean, Kevin Spacey's the best. Key, uh, he's the best secret keeper. I mean, <laughs> he, ha- <laughs> he had practice. <laughs> yeah. He had Shit. a he had a huge secret that he held for a bunch of years there. You feel me? Fuck wait, that was dark. <laughs> hey, it's done it though. I mean, truth. you're not lying. Yes, yes, it is. But it is a great performance. Did he do this first or seven? This, I think. Seven is from 97, I think. Okay. So now I get why. Okay, now I get it. Because after. Oh, no, it's the same year. Damn. Oh, this damn. motherfucker way. But this was first, right? I don't know. I just, they both say 95. Because. If this was first, it, 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 it does stand to reason why they left him out of the credits in seven. Because that was a huge, I, I mean, reading about the movie, that was a huge reveal back in the day. Like, oh, fuck, Kevin Spacey is in this movie? Mm-hmm. Wow. Because he wasn't credited in, in anywhere. Well, this the, 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 the usual suspect was his launching, pot, like, his, he launched off of this. Okay, then, yes, this was before seven. So it was before seven, but they both came out the same year. Wow. But, he, but was he, he he won for best supporting role. Okay. Who's the star in the movie though? I guess Gabriel? I think so. I mean the through the throughout the whole movie it does seem like he's the, the main guy. Yeah. I just doesn't I maybe because I already have that twist cemented in my brain, it doesn't feel like he is. I'm just looking at Spacey the whole time. I mean, now, yes, but back in the day? I mean, you just watched it. Who'd you think it was the main guy? I mean, of course it was uh, Spacey. Mm. It's a little weird. It so, is. Do you think it's a great movie or you think it's a great twist? It's a great... It's a good movie and it's an amazing twist. For anybody that doesn't know, that knows nothing about this movie. Yeah, if you know nothing about it, well, sorry, we already spoiled it now. But um, if you didn't by the by some weird weird and you don't still don't give a shit, mm-hmm. test our theory. Hopefully you guys watched it and you're watching this after you watched it. That's the whole point of these videos. But I am curious if do you guys knew going in what the twist was. Do you have any inkling? What what were your thoughts while watching this movie? Is it overrated? Any any and all thoughts? Leave them down there in the comments because I'm really really curious as to. If is it a great movie or is it a great twist? Because we can easily have something that is a kind of dookie movie, but the twist is holy shit, right? Mm-hmm. Like Star Wars is a great movie that has a great twist. Yes. The I'm your father shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. Spoilers. <laughs> My bad. No pasa de vergas. How dare I? Um, anything else you want to add about Usual Suspects? Did you like it? What did you rate it? Oh, I rated it a, a solid nine. That's fair. It's fair. That's all. I'm I mean, not even a, I can't give it a rating because my rating is 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 tampered with. I mean, it's not. I mean, but well, I, I yeah. recognize your nine. I'm not going to dispute it. I recognize mm-hmm. the nine. It's. I think it was eight point five right here on the IMDb. I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not mad about that. So I guess I it, give it an eight point five. It's in the wheelhouse. Yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not a five. It's not a four. It's something that you should watch if you don't know the fucking mm-hmm. the twist. And in the thoughts co- uh, category. Mm-hmm. Give me a fucking key, you fucking cocksucker. <laughs> I don't know what the line is. <laughs> oh, I, I memorized that line. <laughs> That's great. It's an easy one to, to memorize. Yeah. Yeah. So let's mark it off the list, dog. The usual suspects has been marked off. 
Um, anything else you want to say to the beautiful people? Oh, please give us a follow. I hope we hope you do uh, like these videos because it's fucking fun to do these. It's fun, and you can let us know if you're doing a good job down there in the comments by commenting, posting, sharing, subscribe, especially to the channel for more videos like this. Next week and next week after, more and more and more and more videos for Delished. Uh, you can follow me personally at Edderprazes, P-A-U-R-A-Z-A-S. You can follow my ghostly friend at Jafel91. I also have a solo YouTube uh, gaming channel at E-Y-E-W-A-I-I. -E -I. Go over there, check it out, reviews, and all that. Always and forever, you do. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.